SwiftUI gives us four kinds of gradients to use. And like colors, most of them can also be used as standalone SwiftUI views. To use gradients, you need to provide them with three pieces of information. First, an array of colors to show. Second, size and direction information. And third, most critically, the kind of gradient you want to use. For example, a linear gradient shows the colors gradiating in a straight line. We would say the start and end position. So we'll say in here, for example, I want a linear gradient with the colors of, let's do dot white and dot black, start point top, end point dot bottom. So flow the colors, white to black, top to bottom. We can also provide this with gradient stops, which determine how far along the gradient that color should start appearing. For example, we might say, actually, uh, I want this gradient to be white for the first 45%, and then gradient to black, but then black fully from 55% until the end. This is best done with a few uh, extra line spaces. You can read it more easily on the screen. Uh, we'll say our stops are an array of, in here, gradient dot stop with a color of white and location 0.45, so 45% of the way through. And then a second gradient stop with a color of black and location 0.55. So 55% of the way through, solid black. And now you get a really sharp compressed gradient, mostly white, quick gradient to black, and then mostly black afterwards. Now in this case, uh, Swift knows this array must be an array of gradient stops. So rather than writing gradient.stop, you can in fact just say, please initialize me a new thing. Just do dot init like that, and it's a bit easier. As an alternative, radial gradients move outwards from a center, outwards like this. So instead of saying, oh yes, here's a start and end, a simple direction, we instead of say a start and end radius. How much the middle is solid color, then where does the gradient end? For example, we might say, I want to have a radial gradient here with the colors of, let's do dot blue and dot black, centered on uh, the center of the screen. And then we'll do a start of 20 and end of 200. And now it should get a nice smooth blue to black radial gradient like that. So middle part is solid blue for 20 points of radius, and the gradient is 200 points out to black on the edges. The last gradient of this type uh, can be used as a view is called an angular gradient. We might have heard it referred to as a conic or conical gradient. This cycles colors around the circle rather than radiating outwards, but it can create some really beautiful effects. For example, we could make an angular gradient here, and this thing we're gonna say is gonna cycle through a range of colors from a single gradient. So I'll say my colors are, let's do uh, dot red, dot yellow, dot green, dot blue, dot purple, and then back to dot red again, centered on the middle of the screen, like that. Should get a nice sweeping rainbow like that. All these gradient options have that stops option as well, so you can provide gradient stops rather than simple colors. Plus, as you've seen, they all work as standalone views in your layout directly, or can use it inside modifiers, like I want a background of a linear gradient, for example. It's down to you. Now, SwiftUI provides a fourth type of gradient that's much, much simpler than these previous three. You get basically no control over it, and you can also use them only as backgrounds and foreground styles rather than individual views. This gradient is created by just saying dot gradient after any color. So what it takes? SwiftUI will automatically convert your color into a very, very gentle linear gradient. For example, I might say, I want a text of your content. I'll do a big frame so it stretches to be full size, infinity and max height infinity. I'll do a foreground style of white and then a background of dot red. We get a solid red background here. Now this will be really subtle, but hopefully we'll see it in this video. Let's find out. I'll do dot background dot red dot gradient. So it's slightly, slightly lighter to darker. Really, really subtle. Let's try a few other colors. There's a the blue gradient. There's the uh, indigo gradient. Very, very gentle. It's so 
subtle, but can really help elevate your design with almost no work. Uh, you just say dot gradient and boom. I use these things a lot.